Hakeem Dawudu and Mike Trezano in the featherweight division. Really, really solid fight. Um, we got a Muay Thai kickboxing type of guy in Hakeem Dawudu. Then we have more of a, I would say, boxer who likes to mix in the case every now and then in Mike Trezano. Now, let's look at who has the advantage. Hakeem Dawudu, I, I would say, has the volume advantage. He has the power advantage. And he will have the speed advantage as well. Mike Trezano has, I would say, the boxing advantage. But that doesn't really mean much when you have Hakeem just attacking the legs with leg case with body case and things like that. So I do believe Mike Trezano is going to go out there. Heavy, heavy pressure. Looking to kind of do what Moves or Evil Louis did in the last fight and come forward hard on Hakeem Dawudu. Heavy, heavy pressure with the boxing and trying to mix in the wrestling. That would be the main game plan if I were if I were Mike Trezano. Go out there, heavy, heavy boxing pressure and look for the takedowns. He's not really a wrestler or grappler, but He's got a 50% takedown accuracy in the UFC. He did get taken down four times by Ludovic Klein. Wasn't really controlled in the fight too often. But, I mean, fighting a guy like like Hakeem Dawudu, you're not going to beat him in the striking. I'm, I'm going to say that right now. You are not going to go out there and beat Hakeem Dawudu on the feet. His volume is absolutely amazing. Landing 1.5 more strikes per minute. Has slightly around the same striking accuracy. That's because he is fighting much, much better competition. The the striking defense is very, very even, but Hakeem Dawudu has got way, way better kicks. The leg kicks, the body kicks, the front kicks, and the boxing is going to be very, very even. So if the fight does uh, happen to stand the feet for the entire three rounds, I'm going to go Hakeem Dawudu to win the fight by a 30-27 decision. Um, and if I were, again, if I were Mike Trezano, you got to learn from how, how, how is Hakeem Dawudu losing his fights. We got the Danny Henry loss. It was a guillotine choke submission loss. That was on the ground. Moves are evilly going out there, taking down a Hakeem Dawudu like nine times in the fight and losing that one by unanimous decision. Zubair Tukugov taking him down. Julio Arce taking him down. Kyle Bokniak taking him down. That's the only way you're going to beat a guy like Hakeem Dawudu is to take him down, out wrestle, and out grapple. And again, is Mike Trezano that good of a wrestler or a grappler? I do not think so. I don't think he's going to be able to land the takedowns consistently throughout the fight. This one will be a striking fight. And, of course, I'm going to go Hakeem Dawood to, to win. He's got way better striking, way better Muay Thai, way better speed, way better power. And he should use that to win the fight by unanimous decision. Really good fight in the UFC featherweight division. 